Hey guys, um, as you can probably tell from the title, this is not my usual subject uh, for video blogs, but um, along with my regular news blog, I'll probably update about anything else Johnny's related that I do. Um, so today was the premiere of Gantz, which stars Adashi's uh, Ninomiya Kazunari, and also uh, Matsuyama Kenichi, Kenichi. Um, and so, yeah, it was the premiere today, um, and in the United States, they showed the movie uh, at, in 300 theaters across the country um, with um, a live interview type thing at the beginning and the end with Nino and Kenny T, who are in Hollywood, in California. Um, I was not at the California theater because I live on the other side of the country. So I just went to a movie theater with a bunch of my JE friends um, and Odyssey friend fans from around this area. And it was a ton of fun. So I want to tell you guys about it. Um, so I'm not gonna really tell you much about the movie because that'll spoil it for anybody who wants to watch it in the future. Um, but a little bit about the, um, the whole experience. Um, mostly in the movie theater, there was like pretty much two different types of people. There were the um, there were people like me and my friends who were the Nino and Arashi fans and who went to go see the movie because of that. And um, there was also, so yeah, me and my friends and then some some other people who were obviously like Arashi and Nino fans. Um, and then there were like the otaku who were, who were like fans of the anime or the manga or whatever and weren't there for Nino basically. Um, yeah, and so before before the movie started, they had like all these little like question and fact things like Nino Mio Kazunari is part of the J-pop group Adashi and they're the top, they've been the top artist selling, like J-pop artists for the past two years and like stuff like that. And then, um, and also like quizzes like what other movie did Matsuya Ma Kenichi star in and it gave you choices and it was like death note but um so that was fun and then um once it actually started they opened with the uh the what is it oh the opening at the live event so there was like this MC guy who was kind of I don't know he was a little bit amusing but also a little obnoxious but um they brought Nino and Kenny T out, and like you could, at the theater in LA, um, you could hear like everybody in the audience there like screaming, and like you could see people had Uchiwa, and they were waving and everything as they came down, and then like all of us in the movie theater over here, we were all like screaming and clapping, and we were being ridiculous. Um, and so like Nino and Kenny T, they gave like short messages like, oh, I'm so happy to be here, I hope you enjoy the movie, blah, 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 blah. And then basically they went into the movie, which was very gory, like, within the first 15 minutes or something like that, there was like blood everywhere. Um, and that's really no surprise if you've ever read the manga, because there's like naked people and blood and exploding things all over the place, it's kind of gross. Um, so, like, this movie was really, was listed as not rated here, but, um, definitely rated R. Definitely. Um, and the movie was dubbed in English, which kind of took some of it away, some of, like, the experience of watching the movie away, because, um, we were laughing, like, a lot, <laughs> because the, just, like, their voices are just like, it was, it was so bad and it just made everything ten times funnier. Like, where you would be crying, you were laughing 
so not the best idea to dub this movie was it um and the voices were like kind of offensive because like it was almost like the voice actors tried to sound asian like they had sort of like an accent that sounded like it was on purpose like they were trying to sound japanese while speaking english and um kind of took away a lot um but otherwise the movie was really good it looked really awesome and Nino in that suit looks very good and Kenny T too he's very cute and uh yeah it was it was a really good movie and I really want to see it in Japanese the way it's supposed to be um so yeah I don't think I'm gonna say anything else about the movie because if you ever want to see it I don't want to spoil it um, so after the movie ended, after two and a half hours, it's a very long movie, um, they had like a Q&A session with Nino and Kenny T, and so Nino and Kenny T came up onto the little stage in front and they both had, uh, translators and so Fans got to send in questions. Um, they didn't really ask many of those. They asked like two, and the host asked like some retarded questions, and we were all like, shut up. But, um, like, Nino was like just really cute throughout the whole thing because of his like little facial expressions, and he's like all tiny, and he was like adorable. And then Kenny G, he just like went on forever talking with his aunt like his answers his questions were just like it was like I don't know he's talking forever and you could see his interpreter behind him was like are you seriously talking that much and after a while he started like the interpreter started like interrupting Kenny T um to like provide the translation so he could like catch up and just like Kenny T just went on and on and on and <laughs> The interpreter was really, really funny, um, but yeah, so that was really cute. Um, basically, he just like asked about like how it was filming and um, like the stories from the set and like what it was like to film the movie, and like they talked about like uh, I don't remember what the question was, but. Kenichi brought up that on his birthday, Nino made him a birthday cake, which was really cute. And Nino was like, yeah, that's like the first and last birthday cake I'm ever going to make. So that was cute. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. It was kind of lame, my report, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun uh, beforehand. I met up with a ton of my Johnny's friends and... We just had like this big, I don't know, we like sat in the food court in the mall where the movie theater was and we just were like loud and obnoxious and we talked about J.E. for a few hours and we were loud and obnoxious in the movie theater too. Like my friend next to me, she's like giant Nino fan. There were like two like really big Nino fans in our group and she just like beforehand she was like she couldn't sit down and she was just like oh my god how is she Nino I'm so excited blah, blah blah yeah it was really funny and um and our group like we took up almost the entire back row it was a kind of a small theater it was a good size but we were like the whole back row plus some more people who didn't fit on our row so we had like a really good turnout for like Johnny's fans and Odyssey fans so it was awesome oh and sorry kind of spastic because it's like 12 30 at night and I just got home um but Nino said something about like how he hoped that for Gantz number two because there's gonna be a sequel um that we'll be able to hear it in Japanese like with their voices and he said he was sorry that we had to hear it dubbed and we were just like, yay, Nino, thank you. So, yeah, um, that was a lot of, that was really good. So maybe part two will be subtitled with the Japanese audio. 
Um, I'm not going to be able to see part two here. It comes out in May, and I'm actually going to be in Japan then. So I can go see the movie, but and it'll be in Japanese, but I won't have subtitles, and my Japanese isn't that good. So yeah, whatever. Um, but to anybody who goes, you should have fun. Um, and I think that's it for my report. And I have a special surprise for anybody who wants to know what the the interviews, the live interviews were like. Um, they're in an unlisted video, so you have to um, you have to have the link in order to um, in order to see the video. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put the link to the video with the surprise and the inter about the interviews um, down here in the description box and there'll probably be a few videos because it's a little long um so yeah I actually you know what I'm not gonna put them in a description box I'll put them in a link over here or something or if that doesn't work they're down there whatever they're somewhere in this video on this page um so yeah um thanks to all my friends who came with me and who made my little meetup that i organized a success and i had a ton of fun and i love all of you guys and i hope everybody who went to go see gants uh, in the united states had a lot of fun at the uh screenings um and anybody who didn't go who lives in the united states you should have gone um, but maybe you can make it for part two. And then anybody who couldn't go, um, I don't know what to say to you. It'll come out on DVD soon. Um, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!